Hey, a few folks have been asking us to do some salmon. It's not quite salmon season yet, but I did go ahead. I bought a half a pound, uh, you know, part of a filet. I'm going to make bacon wrapped salmon today for my daughter. She's a big salmon person. We're going to take this salmon, season it up with some cherry seasoning, wrap it in bacon, smoke it on this pit barrel cooker, and then finish it off with an apple juice and rum glaze. Got one small piece of salmon. It's not a whole fillet. Got this. I'm making this for my daughter today. I brined it overnight. And what this is is um, four cups of water, quarter cup of kosher salt, quarter cup of brown sugar. Just mix that all together. Uh, and this dish wouldn't even hold the full amount, but that's the ratio you need to use. And then uh, just you know, place this in here. You saw it was covered up and let it sit in the fridge overnight. Let me get rid of this brine. Now all I'm going to do is pat it dry with some paper towels. Um, some of you may prefer to, you know, rinse it off. If that's what you want to do, go right ahead. I just like to pat it dry, get rid of any excess salt crystals that might be laying on top of this guy, okay? And you can see, I, can't, I think it weighed about a half a pound. And like I said, it's just for my daughter. Um, you know, obviously if I was making this for the whole family, I'd make it for her. I like to wait till the fresh salmon comes in in about two to three more weeks. Uh, but she is loves salmon and wanted me to make her a piece now. Eight or nine times out of ten when I make salmon, I'm going to put a cherry rub on that salmon. This happens to be from Running Wild. It's become my favorite cherry rub. There's others out there that are good also, so I certainly don't mean that you know that they're they're not good as well. I'm just saying this has become my favorite. All right. So I'm just going to get that uh, salmon seasoned up, and then we're going to get to the good part of this recipe. I'm going to wrap this salmon today in bacon. Okay, I'm trying to figure out which way. I think I'm going to go this way. Okay. Just like so. Okay. Now, obviously, we're going to get a little bacon flavor. But more importantly, this bacon, is the fat renders off, it'll help the salmon stay moist, okay? Nothing worse than, you know, dried out fish or sa salmon in this case, if there's a difference between fish and a salmon, okay? And it doesn't need to overlap, you know? Again, we're just going to, to try to help keep it moist. Um, no need for a bacon weave or anything like that. The bottom of the salmon has the skin side on it, right? And you can see that's three pieces there. And I'm going to put one more piece on this guy. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, we got her all wrapped up in bacon. And now what I'm going to do is come back with just a little bit more of that cherry rub. I'm telling you, I absolutely love this cherry rub. And I want to thank the folks at Pit Barrel Cooker. They sent me out this, um, you see how the grate now that it, it uh, moves up? It's hinged, so I can just drop the wood down in there. So big thanks to them. What I've got here is three chunks of alder wood today. Okay, I'm going to put a piece right there in the middle of the fire. I'm not expecting this to take an awful long time. We'll spread those around. That makes it really easy if you forget to put the wood in. You don't have to remove the whole uh, grate out. That hinge grate really is nice, okay? okay. We've got our salmon here. Just going to lay it down on the opposite side. I've got the fire lit over there. So I'm going to get this lid on and we'll check on this in about an hour. We are going to glaze the salmon today. I've just got the one piece, as I mentioned. I've got a half a cup of apple juice. We have a tablespoon and a half of brown sugar. And then I'm going to add in about a quarter cup of rum. Or, uh, you know, you guys use what you want. You can even use a little bit more. And then what we're going to do is heat this. Okay. Just thicken it up a little bit. I probably should have waited and put the sugar down in here. Then I wouldn't have to scrape it out of this measuring cup. But it is what it is. 
Now I'm just going to bring this to a boil. You can see I don't have, it's not going to take a lot. We're just glazing that half pound piece. But I'm going to bring this to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn the heat down to medium, medium low and simmer it just to thicken it up a bit. So you can see we're up at, ooh, got to be careful. Got that rum in there. It was a, not too smart on my behalf. Let's get that off here and let's get the rum cooked down. Okay. And I'm just going to simmer it. So we cook it down. And we will cook off the, you know, I'm no scientist, but we're going to cook off the alcohol. If not all of it, certainly most of it. What we're after in this rum is the flavor. Alright, so you can see it's rained a little bit here in uh, North Florida. I hope I don't get this on the salmon. That'll be a bummer. Ah, success. Okay, I don't know how well you can see this, but I do not want my camera to get wet, so it's up under the deck. Just going to do a check, the one hour check in the salmon. I don't believe it'll be done. We're at uh, 125, and again, I apologize if you guys can't see that, 128, 129. We want to bring, even 130, we want to bring this salmon on up to about 145. So like I said, it's been one hour. We'll get the lid back on it. I'll check it in 30 minutes. And there's what we've got left out of that. What was it? A half a cup of apple juice and a quarter cup of the bourbon and the brown sugar. You can see it's just a little bit. You saw I just have this one very small slice of, uh, of uh, salmon, it's a half a pound. And now what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm not going to measure it, but I'm probably going to add uh, two tablespoons of honey. And the reason I do this afterwards is because I am one of those people that do believe honey does good things for you, and I don't want to heat the honey. And the second benefit is, I don't know if you can tell that in the video, but it makes this sauce get even thicker. So we've got more than enough sauce for this salmon. You know, if you're cooking a bigger piece, like I said, this one's a half a pound, just scale this recipe up. If you're cooking a pound, you can double it, two pounds, you know, do the math. Look at that. See that nice thickness now? Honey makes everything great. This happens to be holly honey, but hey, use your favorite. I have access to a few different uh, varietals, so I like to mix it up. It's been another 20 minutes, so we're at hours and 20 total. Look at the color on that. hope you guys can see it. It's still raining. I don't want to get the camera too close. But I just checked the temp. We're up at about 140. Like I said, we want this to go to 145. So now what I'm going to do is take that rum apple juice, honey, and brown sugar, and we're going to glaze this guy. Okay? It's not going to take much longer. Another 20 minutes, 30 minutes, we'll be right up there where we want to be. And hopefully you can see that. We still have plenty left. You could have done a whole pound with the same amount of glaze. Trust me, trust me, trust me. This is going to be absolutely awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Still raining here. Stay with me. Our salmon is done. I just checked it. 146. We want it to be 145 minimum. Look at the color on it. All right. A little bit of bacon falling off there because I'm trying to get this off of here without taking these rods out. Let me take a rod out. Let's get this guy out of here. I can get it out without tearing it apart. So I'm going to just cut this open and take a small bite. As I told you guys, I was making this for my princess daughter. She couldn't wait anymore. She wanted some salmon. It's one of her favorite foods. Okay. I'll show you. I'll open it apart so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Try not to make a mess. Look at that. Beautiful color on it. The bacon looks great. I'm just gonna take this bite on the end, all right? That way they can, she can have the rest. And the skin was on the bottom. 
So you can see it's kind of come off, all right? It comes off very easy. You don't have to eat the skin. Look at it, gorgeous collar. Let's give it a try. Did you see me drop that? I guess she's going to have to wait for me to take a second bite. <laughs> okay. Get that skin off the back. We'll try this again. All right. Mm. Oh my gosh, she's going to want to mow the yard. She's going to want to dust the furniture. This salmon's awesome. It's moist. It's moist because two reasons. We brined it and we have that bacon over it. So it's just rendering that fat right over the salmon and help keeping it moist. And I told you guys, eight out of ten times I use that cherry rub. I love it on salmon. Sweetness from the honey and the apple juice. And then you kick it up just a little bit with that awesome kind of candy-ish rum flavor. You know, I told you I was just going to take one bite, but I've got to have another bite. That's just how good this is. First time I've made this exact recipe, I've used that cherry rub on salmon many, many times. First time I've done the bacon wrapped salmon. And i got to tell you, I can't wait till June when the fresh salmon's available because I'm making this recipe one more time. Mmm. Incredible. Thanks for watching another one of our videos. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down in that comment section below.